Oh, we're looking cute. What's poppin' my pretties? It's your girl Kagan Cat. Welcome to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber, hey boo, thank you for coming back and support me by clicking on this video. Here on this channel, I deal with beauty, lifestyle, and fashion. So if you enjoy that type of content, please make sure you subscribe down below. Also make sure you turn on that bell notification so you are notified every time your girl makes a drop. And go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. So you know Valentine's Day is around the corner. I am a sucker for Valentine's Day. I'm a sucker for love. I'm definitely a hopeless romantic so I wanted to do a Valentine's Day get ready with me but doing a clean makeup makeup look so I'm pretty sure y'all seen the whole clean makeup makeup trend it's on TikTok, it's here on YouTube and it's also on Instagram so basically clean makeup is just natural makeup that enhances your features with clean makeup makeup looks it's minimal makeup and you do not use a lot of product I wanted to do this makeup look because this is more of my alley I don't really do glam makeup looks one because I'm not that great at doing them and two because I honestly do not like to wear a lot of makeup and I don't wear makeup on a daily basis I figured I would just stick to what I know and stick to what I do and just do a clean makeup look so if you guys would like to see how I achieve this clean makeup Valentine's Day look please continue to watch um, today I wanted to do a Valentine's Day get ready with me gonna do a clean makeup look so normally when I do my get ready with me I just do a certain routine but today I thought I would like really switch it up and I haven't done my eyebrows yet I have put on lashes these lashes are from Walmart if I can find the link I will link them I've already thrown the packaging away my bad didn't mean to do that I really wanted to show y'all these lashes I've already applied my wig not really sure how I want my hair to be done I honestly might just throw in some wand curls like I always do because like I said I'm a creature of habit let's get into my face I have not done my eyebrows yet I'm gonna wait to do my eyebrows because I waited to do my eyebrows the other day and my makeup turned out so bomb like I really liked it I always forget to prime my face when I start my makeup look, but that's mainly because before I apply my makeup, I always do my skincare routine, and that's like my primer for me. But today, I'm going to try this MAC Prep Primer. Did buy some MAC foundation that we're gonna be using today. So I do have a couple of new products. Some of these products that I'm using today are affordable and some are not. So it's just like a little mixture. We're gonna use this primer. This is what it looks like, and this is just a sample that was sent with me when I ordered my foundation. My sister actually told me about the primer and the foundation. She said she really liked it. She's a makeup artist, so I was like, okay, I am going to try this as well well this is what we're looking like excuse this little pimple I have on my face right here don't know where that came from so y'all know that when it comes to makeup I'm a creature of habit and I use the same products all the time and I don't really venture off into new products I'm gonna go in and I'm going to spot conceal y'all know I always use toffee and I am gonna use toffee today but I'm gonna mix it in with the deep caramel concealer by elf so yeah let's just start off by spot concealing and I'm gonna go in with toffee first First. So I'm just going in and I'm dotting my problem areas on my face that I want to come cover up so that's just like my blemishes after I come in with the toffee concealer I'm now coming in with the elf concealer in the shade deep caramel and I'm just putting concealer on the same spots that I put the toffee since this is a minimal clean makeup look you do not have to use a lot of product that's like the whole goal to this makeup look so I was at Target the other day and I picked up this new beauty blender it's the Sonia Kosh beauty blender I believe this was five dollars now I, I do have other beauty blenders by her that black and white one that I use all the time is by her too and these beauty blenders so I'm gonna use the new beauty blender that I got it's way bigger and it has a a flat surface right here I know it's black you really can't see and all I'm gonna do is just blend in 
the concealer. And of course, you know when you blend in the concealer. I really like to use this beauty blender because it's way bigger and it like cuts, it cuts your time in half. All right, so this is how we're looking so far. I did get rid of my dark spots and my blemishes. Now I'm gonna add just a little bit of definition to my face. I'm not that person that contours my face to the chisel, but I do like a little bit of contour. I'm gonna come in with the Fenty Beauty Contour Stick, and this is in the shade Truffle. I'm coming in with this brush right here that I got from Amazon, and you're gonna add this contour to the highest parts of your face, so very lightly, nothing too crazy. I also like to add a little bit of contour to my chin just so I can get that little double chin look. I am gonna add a little bit of contour to my forehead because you know I got a forehead. Now we're gonna come in with our foundation. This is the MAC Studio Fit Foundation with SPF 15 in it and I am the shade NC46. The only thing I wish that this product did have was a little pump to pump out the foundation. I like the foundations with pump. I'm gonna use a beauty blender and this e.l.f. duo brush. One side is for concealer and the other side I use for foundation and I'm just going to apply this foundation and I'm gonna apply this foundation on my face and I'm just doing light coverage. Like I said, this is a clean makeup look. thing I will say about this product that my sister said that she liked is, is that it doesn't make your skin look heavy and that's true like you know I'm not like an expert on makeup but my face doesn't even feel heavy when I have this foundation on like I feel just like it's my face I really hate when I put on makeup and I can feel the makeup on my face and I feel like I can't move I've used it three times and I've loved it so far I like to go back in with a beauty blender when it comes to blending out my foundation. I don't know, that's just me. So I'm gonna go in with the lighter concealer because I am that person that likes a brighter under eye. I love that look. I love that look, it kinda makes you look like highlighted. So that's the look we're going for and I'm gonna do my under eye. I'm coming in with the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in the shade Tan Neutral. And since this is a minimal makeup look, we're just using a little bit of this product. So I am going to get the corner right here. with well, just like a little swish, okay? And then the inside right here with a little swish. So that's what we're looking like right there. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side. I kinda put a little too much on this side, but it's all right. I'm gonna put a little bit down my nose. Now one thing to remember with this concealer is the applicator is really big. When you're doing it down the center of your nose, make sure you do like a little light line down your nose. I'm gonna add a little bit to my chin and then I'm gonna hit my forehead. I have these two foundation brushes that I got from Morphe. So I either use a beauty blender or these foundation brushes. I'm gonna go in the middle with the smaller one. I like to use a smaller one to get into the creases really good, especially under my eyes. to get a new setting powder but I'm just gonna use the OG setting powder that I always use and that's the CoverGirl Clean Professional setting powder in the shade 115. After I do my setting powder I like to come in with another brush and just dust off. Yo why do I have powder everywhere? I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna do my brows. Y'all make me nervous every time I put on my lashes or my brows. That's why my lashes were already on my face. I'm really just gonna speed this process up of me doing my brows. I am using the Wet n Wild Ultimate Brow Pencil in the shade Deep Brown. I love this brow pencil. This is just a cheaper alternative from the Benefit My Precisely Brow because that mug was $25. I was using it so fast. I found a more affordable one and so I'm going to be using that one today. I'm just going to dust a little, like the slightest little bit of this brown right here. Actually, I think I'm gonna mix this brown and this nude color together. 
All right, so that's it. Nothing too extravagant. Just to give a little bit of color on my eyes. Some bronze. My face just a little bit. I got this new bronzing brush from Target as well the other day. It's a Real Techniques brush and it's the, the 400. I used it earlier, so that's why it looks dirty. But it's actually clean. I love how fluffy it is. Do you see that? Just how fluffy it is. And so I'm coming in with the bronzer I've always used. Um, the Caramel Cutie. Fenty Beauty bronzer. I'm just gonna bronze my face just a little bit. Add a little warmth back to that powder. I do have a new blush that I wanted to try and this is by Elf. And this blush is called Blush Brushing. I'm gonna come in with the same Fenty Beauty bronzer that I was using and I'm just going to contour my nose a little bit and go into my brow line. I'm also going to bring that same bronzer into my lower lash line. I've really been liking that look. Just to add some color under my eye. Ooh, we're looking cute. I'm going to hit my face with some highlight. I always use the same highlight. Y'all know what it is. Mean Money and Hustle a Baby by Fenty Beauty. I do have a Wet n Wild highlight I need to bust out. And my favorite thing to do is add highlight to the tip of my nose and also dust it on the bridge of my nose. Setting spray I'm using today is the MAC Fix setting spray. I ordered this setting spray when I ordered the MAC foundation and I thought it was only right. I only ordered the small one. Let me let y'all in on a secret. Whenever I am trying new makeup products, I always order the smallest product possible that they have. One, because it's a little cheaper and two, if I don't like it, I don't feel like I wasted my money on it. The end of the makeup look. Now I'm gonna start on my hair. I'm not gonna record the whole time I'm doing my hair. I'm actually probably just gonna throw a couple of curls in my hair and that's probably gonna be it. I always like to wand curl my hair. That's like my favorite thing to do. I love wand curls. All right, you guys, so now I'm back. I added on a red lip because what's a Valentine's Day makeup look without a red lip? I don't really wear red lipstick, but for this Valentine's Day look, I did feel like it was necessary. I will put a picture on the screen of what I'm wearing. This dress is from Shein. You know your girl loves some Shein. I believe this dress was like $13. I thought this dress was so cute and it's really affordable. They have other colors on the website, but I chose red to go with the whole Valentine's Day theme. This dress is not see-through, but if you look in the reviews, you will see that some of the other colors are see-through. I'm not having any issues with being able to see any of my undergarments. I did get a size medium and I feel like it fits me perfect. I also did throw on some jewelry. You know, most of my jewelry I have is from Her Faux Lux. I will link Her Faux Lux down below as well as my discount code that y'all can use to get some money off your next purchase. So on my neck, I have the Posh Locket Necklace. I just feel like this is necessary for Valentine's Day. I thought it was so cute. It's Louis Vuitton inspired and I felt like it just really brought out this whole Valentine's Day look. On my wrist, I'm wearing this tennis bracelet from Her Faux Lux. I love the vibe that this bracelet gives. It makes you feel so luxe and so chic. I felt like this tennis bracelet would just add some pizzazz to my whole entire look. Really made my look come together on my hands. So on my right hand, I am wearing the Lux Duo ring. This ring can really just elevate an outfit and make it look so classic. And on my other hand, I'm wearing the Cartier Love Ring, Love Ring 1 and Love Ring 2. The heels that I would match with this dress, I will post here on the screen. They are from Shein as fragrance. I'm gonna be showing y'all today is the Ebony Wood fragrance from Zara. I will post the notes on the screen of this fragrance. But it has grown on me because I like to mix it with other fragrances. I do have a fragrance video and I will post that video down below so you guys can get some ideas on fragrances to add to your collection. Collection. Ebony Wood smells 10 times better when you mix it with another fragrance. Of course, you have to find a good fragrance that you feel like goes with this fragrance. It has grown on me and I'm starting to love it. And just for this whole outfit, I just feel so luxe. I feel so grown woman right now. So mixing the Ebony Wood along with the YSL Black Opium is such a vibe for me. I actually wore this duo the other day just to test it out. And I just wore it in public. I wanted to see if anybody would say something. I did have a couple of compliments. You can definitely 
definitely smell this fragrance. It's long last. So that is the end of my Valentine's Day clean makeup get ready with me. I hope y'all did enjoy this video. As always, thank you for your support. If you have any questions, make sure you just comment down below. Remember that everybody is pretty no matter what size, shape, or color. And I will see you guys in my next video.